absolute pleasure meeting both of you. Thank you. Uh, how were you first introduced to Winnie the Pooh? I had the cassette tapes and listened oh. to the audio version. So uh, when I was a kid, I listened to them with a little walk for, Walkman um, at night time. God, I must feel old. Times change no. really quickly. Um, yeah. I remember cassettes coming in, so uh. you have got nothing on me. <laughs> I must have read. I must have had the books read to me because I'm very familiar with the. Having read them to my kids, I'm very familiar with all the chapters and the stories. So mm. my parents must have read them to me, and then of course the Disney cartoons, which we must have grown up with as well. Why do you believe he's so beloved? I think because of, you, you were talking about this earlier, the, the ideas that he represents of being in the moment and just to be with the people that you love um, without kind of an agenda other than just wanting their time and, and, and to care for them. And yeah. there's, some, there's an unconditional love that he has for Christopher Robin I think is so heartwarming and <laughs> takes us out of whatever distracted moment that we're having or you know, an important responsible task at hand to just have a moment to play and realize that in, the, in this moment everything is okay. Mm. Well, what's your favorite scene of film? I've got many, many scenes. I like our dancing scene, mm -hmm. and I like our scene in the kitchen where you are, where uh, we're in the middle of slightly a, a slight heavy scene. There's a little moment where I say, um, was, it, was my it my dancing? dancing? That's a nice moment. Yeah, that's a lovely moment. And, uh, and then with Pooh, there's a reconciliation scene that I find very beautiful. After yeah. I've uh, Christopher Robin loses his temper with Pooh in the forest because he's frustrated and he wants to get back to work and. Um, who disappears and then he tracks him down again and there's a there's a very nice scene where he sits down with him and says sorry <laughs> and uh, I find that really beautiful. Mm -hmm. What was your initial attraction to the project? I, uh, I got the call to speak with Mark Forster, the director, about it and I'd seen other work that he had done and the combination of, of Mark um, to be working on something like Winnie the Pooh was really interesting to me because Mark's an very independent film director and he's got a beautiful style and 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 atmosphere that he creates in some of his films that I wouldn't necessarily asso associate directly with a Disney movie. Mm -hmm. And I felt that he would bring kind of an emotional depth to it visually, but also within the performances. Um, so that was kind of the way in, I think, for me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I've worked with Mark before in the past. Yeah. I made a film with him called Stay back in the early 2000s. And um, I've always enjoyed, I really enjoyed that experience of working with him. And we stayed, stayed in touch. And when he described the film to me, I just found it, it sounded Incredible! What he wanted to achieve with the film yeah. wasn't mm -hmm. what I, yeah, like Haley says, mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't quite what you would imagine. But it's so it's so uh, wonderful what he's done. If you had to choose your favorite character, who would you choose? Oh, it depends on the day of the week. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I think. I mean, I I love Kanga and Rue. I think they're very cute double act. They are. Um, but I think you know Pooh is the kind of the Zen master in all of this. He's the he's the, the go to guy. Yeah. So I would always yeah. choose you. And you've bonded with. I really I spent so much time with Pooh. Yeah, it was really like he's somebody that I've known. You know. Yeah. But there was a couple. Of, there was a couple of scenes with Eeyore that were. There was a scene where I'm looking around Owl's house that's fallen down, and they had Eeyore on a log outside, and I looked at him through a window and. I had, I would swear to God, I had a moment where I thought like it was like he moved. You know, I, I felt like it was just a stuff uh, like a teddy bear of Eeyore yeah. out there that I was acting with. But yeah. after the take, I for sure thought he blinked. Or, like, he was like, really expressive eyes. Yeah, yeah, he looked very real, didn't yeah. he? Awesome! Absolutely, meet you Thanks guys. Thanks so much. Thank yeah, you so much. Take Thank care. you. Have a good Thank day. You.